I'm going to try loading a 50 foot core of 16 millimeter film into this tank on one of the spiral reels to see if it fits all the way. The tank had been loaded with two rolls of regular 8 millimeter film. The full roll is on the bottom and you can see it goes out further on the spirals but there's still quite a bit left. That's where I'm hoping 25 more feet will fit. The top spiral holds a used roll that I had ripped off a bunch and I just wanted to see if I could load two stacks of regular 8 and this is the way it loads on the thing. So it'll take two liters in the tank and you could do two rolls at a time. It's worth noting that when you load the spiral you have to twist the film so that the black side, the back side is up and that allows the film to go onto the spool. If you have it the other way if you try to do it this, you know, with the emulsion side up, it jams and you won't be able to load it. So the, uh, the drawing in the instruction book is difficult to interpret. I had it backwards, but the emulsion side is out, as you can see. The light tan is pointing towards me, and the black side is towards the center. When you load or unload, the, then you uh, turn this, turn the spool in your hand, so that it lays flat and fits between the two cylinders. It works great. The top reel is empty now that the 8mm film has been removed, but the bottom reel holds a full roll of regular 8mm film. There are two screws that hold these discs together. Remove the top screw normally. Remove it completely. If you turned it over and put it on, then you would be able to load a Super 8 reel of film in there. So I assume it holds 50 feet. But I have to prove it. This is the second screw, and it holds this bit together. Leave that in place. The film goes into this thing. You almost need a macro lens to see it, but it has a V shape that the film goes in. The end of the film goes on the right, and then the roll of film goes out on the left and doubles back. The gnarled end of the film was removed. It's uh, about a foot long. It was all crinkled and it has had words perforated into it. So the film goes through that groove and is pressed down flat. So you could pinch it you could pinch it here on the end. That may help. Alright, it is flat. So you get your hand out of the way and turn this so that the film base is facing up. When you wind the spool clockwise, the emulsion will be facing out. So now we put the flange back on and screw it down tight. Here the flange has been replaced and now the spool is turned clockwise and the film is wound on. As you could see, an entire 50 foot core of 16 millimeter film was wound onto this flange spool thing 